Hello, this is uh, David Herman, alias Daz, the artist, always creating art. That's my thing. Tattoos and digital art and fine art. So uh, today I'm working on the PCB boards that my partner Blake and I are dreaming up and uh, trying to hopefully introduce into the art world at some point. Uh, this is one of my paintings that has been scanned in, converted, worked digitally to get the end result of these colors which uh, very closely approximate the colors that we bring out on our PCB boards, uh, printed circuit boards. So uh, if you've been to PCB paintings on Facebook, that's us, PCB paintings. A little bit of an advertisement. All my artwork and websites and stuff uh, lead to each other anyways. Okay. So here is, I've scanned in, converted from uh, different ways to end up with this. I don't even want to reveal too much. You can figure it out probably if you work in Photoshop. But I've been painting this hummingbird, and I'm going to do some of that for you today. And I don't know what time it'll get cut off, 10 minutes, but I didn't watch. I think I started at 5.01 and it's 5.02. So I have selected this color of my five colors. And you can see it right there. I'm going to edit undo just to take that dot out. And I'm kind of working these wings. So I'm combining uh, what we get when we took one of my fine art paintings. So they're still original. Everything we do is original, just so you know. Um, and I'm working with the image, trying to learn, understand uh, this kind of fractal stuff that happens because I'm deep into sacred geometry and I really, um, I totally uh, understand things on a different mental way than as much a verbal, but what I'm doing as an artist is we we do a lot of tricky stuff. You know, we go in and out of a project. We 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 do things. See, so I'm shaping a wing here out of this uh, stuff. This was oil paint and mixed media originally. So I you know I've done something that's in um, it's a beautiful piece of art and uh, it's oil paint, acrylics, Canty crayon, uh, ink, chalk, pencil. You know, truly a mixed media piece. I've always uh, enjoyed mixed media. Okay, so now that I've done this, see, and then I might want to back off some of this fractal stuff happening here. So in which case I'm going to select another color. I only have uh, six colors that I work with in this particular medium that we're working in. So you see it drew that color there. Changes to my pen. And then I'm going to remove by painting over some of these areas. Uh, even though this is this is cool to me. To me this is the if you magnified life, you know, one object uh, really blends into another in the connection of the atomic structure, everything kind of becomes one, you know. So I don't want to get too heavy in that. But so now I have this, and I might want to create more of this type of a look around the wing later. But right now I'm kind of uh, been working on this hummingbird. You can see I've drawn in all these feathers on the belly. It started up what you see here in the throat of this ruby-throated hummingbird that I drew and uh, painted. But now I'm taking kind of this fractal look and I'm starting to build my own. I first did the light scales and then I'm trying to understand what happens here. And then this is kind of a cosmic rendition of what happened when it converted. And uh, so we're mixing science and art and imagination and philosophy and uh, theories of art that I have and things that Blake, who is an artistic programmer, um, you know, very gifted uh, programmer that's working on 
uh, this with me and see I'm removing this and uh, I have this saved you know as a separate piece of art that I can always come back to but the way this gets done in Photoshop you can't use uh, a lot of the tools so it's a lot of hand drawing it's a lot of hand creation you know if there's something you didn't like like see this I'm not real keen about it going just completely off the board but it's cool except if I don't want it to do that see I can kind of reshape this tail because I created a piece of art that's uh, two foot by four foot on a canvas and then I cropped a certain area out 16 by 22 inches for my uh, PCB painting that I'm working on which you can see on our PCB paintings page on Facebook whenever I get this good enough to put up there um, and then after I cropped the 16 by 22 inch area uh, you know I created like a moving cropping tool so I could select exactly exactly not be forced into anything with uh, Photoshop an area I wanted to work on and then I'm all this stuff that happens like we're trying to work together and create so I might get cut off now while we're talking see how this gets kind of merged into one wing I'm not keen on that like you can accept what uh, accidents create or you can work with them too you know so we don't have to accept the accident in its entirety uh, or what happens when we do the conversion I won't call it an accident it's it is what it is I mean it's so you see that's a very dark purple and I'm bringing it in here and painting and you can change the diameter of your digital stylus see like that you know of course just like I am I'm doing this with a tablet the change of the size then I might like to have feathered tips so I will go back and get some uh, one of the colors out of my painting because I used to do this with little dabs but once you get the painting going uh, you don't have to dab as much you can kind of just see work that uh, it, this is really super intriguing to me that we are well we're we're creating something here that's so new and uh, I don't know it's exciting to me it may not be to everybody else but we like it you know I'm digging it I don't know where it's gonna go or what I'm gonna create with it so you see this background is a different color than this there's two shades of this solder mask that are these these are very close to the exact colors and then this deeper shade here is represents the board this shade here represents copper material and then the two shades of purple represent different solder masks some with a uh, solder mask over a copper and some is just another solder mask tone but I am really I'm building this and creating the art uh, through many different stages to get a desired result that utilizes these many different uh, boundaries we're confined by the number of colors and we're confined by the process and yet we will find a way to make elegant art uh, with this and that's so exciting to me uh, that's why I'm showing you some of this that I'm doing here if you look near the tail see this cursor here we go I'm coming down here now putting some more feather stuff in here and then I look at that and I think about it is it the edge of the feather is it light is it dark uh, how's this gonna look when it's backlit and things like that so now I've kind of extracted my bird I started to build my feathers I'm going to go back to a darker darker tone so we're going to go 
uh, eyedropper and grab some of this really dense purple. And uh, 